My name is Patrick Kellums, receiving supervisor, and we're gonna come do a little quick tour of our warehouse and show you what 5S has done for us. So we're gonna start here in our returns area. You're gonna notice here in this area uh, a few things. One, taped off lines of different colors on the floor. Uh, this first one here, the white lines, is for racks, benches, carts, uh, garbage cans. Uh, we try to keep that area just for that. Then here in the middle, our black tape lines are for work in progress. That's for the associate to keep all of the items that they're working on at the time in that area until they're completed and moved to a staging location that would be identified with blue tape lines. Then here on the back wall, you can see uh, a shadow board. Now on that shadow board, every item that that associate needs on a daily basis is listed on there. If it's something that they would use maybe once or twice a month, it's not gonna be on that board. The board is for materials that that associate is gonna need daily to do their functions. Uh, and on that board, everything is listed where it's supposed to go. That way it's returned to its spot, the exact spot. This way they don't have to guess where it's going. They just know it is there that they can return and grab that too. Next, we've got a rack here for material um, for customers. Our shippers will come and pick those items. Each rack is identified by a color for that order that day. This cuts down on our associates coming and having to dig through a pile of material and parts for their specific order. It really cuts down on all of the footsteps and, and footprints and eliminates any waste or wasted steps. We'll come here to one of our gray bins and you can see on the end of this bin, it's got a standard sheet. On this sheet, it lists the standards for this zone and area. It also lists on there who owns that location, whose responsibility it is to make sure this zone and area is kept up with daily. So here we have another white area taped out for trash cans, uh, skids that are no longer needed, all bins or anything that's in a box or a P33 is tagged with a barcode for that item and it also has a part number written on it so it can be viewed from the ground. Here in our receiving area, we'll see uh, we have more white tape spaced out for uh, wood piles, P33s for trash cans and carts for paperwork. Our associate Ronnie Cannon here is breaking down a crate and he's got that area taped off for work in progress with the black tape lines. We have two uh, taped off areas for breaking crates down with black tape. We have two sections of white tape on both sides for material. That way the associates aren't crossing each other and eliminating footsteps. Down here we'll find our blue tape lines for our receiving work in progress. Once it's been broken down and labeled, it is then brought over here to our blue lines where it is then staged to be put away and scanned to a location. Here by the dock doors, we used to have a lot of carts sitting up here for material, stuff to get packed. We've eliminated that by having everything sent down our towed areas and we've really opened up our dock area to have uh, sections just for putting a pallet jack. So this front is labeled and identified uh, by these yellow stickers on the ground for our charging areas for our pallet jacks. We have a staging area for finished shipping products here. And then in between these white lines, we've identified the shipping material for banders that they need to complete. Next to that is their staging area where they're building their orders and packing those up, putting those into their boxes to complete their work after they've picked all their material. Then next to that here on the right, we have all the materials that a shipper will need to do their job. And then right next to that, we've put a rack up here with empty boxes that they might need, brown bags, green and white labels for their orders. So you can see the difference in shadow boards that this area doesn't need as many materials. And you can also see there's a different set of standards here for this rack than one of our gray bins were. Well, I want to thank everyone for joining me on this tour.